Can you imagine what excessive screen time does to our brains? Why do people spend so much time on their phones, day in and day out? I'm going to talk about how smartphones affect children's brain and everyday life functioning skills. I will also discuss about limiting screen time for children. Did you have a smartphone when you were a child? I did, but it, it did not work out well for me. I got obsessed with Angry Birds video game. Smartphones should not be given to children before the age of 12. Today I will talk about how smartphones affect school performance. Do smartphones help students at school? Children are given smartphones to improve their lives, yet oftentimes they do more harm than good. Smartphones harm students learning at school because they get distracted by phones and don't pay attention to teachers. Students are constantly consumed in their device and it is extremely difficult for them to get back to what they are supposed to do. Smartphones are not a distraction because students have a shorter attention span than is often demanded by teachers. Teachers need to let their students take more frequent breaks and switch tasks more often to match the amount of students focus. Ellie Wahlberg, communications coordinator for Cornerstone University Professional and Studies, wrote an article, 10 ways your smartphone can help you learn, published on August 14, 2018, said students can set a timer for the duration they want to stay focused on one single task. Students have access to smartphones at school is counterproductive because students don't learn how to pay attention for long periods of time of which is a necessary life skill. Paul Barnwell is a teacher and writer based in Louisville, Kentucky who wrote an article for The Atlantic, Do Smartphones Have a Place in the Classroom, published on April 27, 2016, said, <clears throat> Some students can focus, but at risk students have a larger achievement gap because of the focus issues with smartphone. Sorry, for I have to take this call now. Hey Jacob, I cannot talk right now. I'm in the middle of doing my speech, smartphones and children. Can I call you back later? Okay, okay. Sounds good. I will call you back later. Bye bye. S sorry for the interruption. Where did I stop? Sarah Jacobson Purewell, freelance writer and editor based in Los Angeles, wrote an article. Nine ways your phone is making you less productive published on June 26, 2015, said smartphone is a huge distraction that stands between you and getting your work done. Have you ever been distracted by your phone at school? I know that we don't want to face the fact that cell phone can be disruptive as we ugh, all probably overuse our own. However, we have to consider the harmful effects of excessive screen time. Next, I will talk about why we should limit time on smartphones. Should, smart, should time on smartphones be limited for children? Too much screen time can lead to poor self-regulation abilities. Screen can cause a child to constantly skim through pages and never gain deeper understanding. We wonder why would someone let their child use such a thing? Children won't be able to learn self-regulation using technology if they don't practice when their parents and teachers are around them. Jeff Tran and Tina Mandel, Advanced Technology Facilitators, Durham District Board, wrote an article, Self-Regulation and Technology, the Wave of the Future, published on February 
2015 said that two technology can help students to use tools that can help manage their feelings and behavior. Screen time doesn't help children with self-regulation. Instead, screen time makes self-regulation worse because children get easily addicted to the screens, which makes it hard for them to stop. Giving a child a smartphone is like giving a drug to drug addicts. Have you ever had a hard time stopping once you started to use your phone? Eleanor Bird, Master of Science, wrote an article for Medical News Today. Should parents limit screen time for young children on April 19, 2020, about a study done that found children who start using any screen media earlier in life had lower self-regulation abilities. Jarrell Cowes Tech Times News Report wrote an article, People Addicted to Smartphones More Impatient and Impulsive, study published on March 21st, 2016, said people who are addicted to and using and checking their phones are less able to delay gratification. Let's now summarize everything. Smartphones harm students' learning. Time children spend on smartphones should be limited. Smartphones should not be given to children before the age of 12. There's much more to enjoy in life than technology. Be social and enjoy being present in the real world. Real life experiences are much more fun and meaningful than watching and following someone else.